That last arc was so fast, so concise. A lot of things went over my head, and I think it was supposed to. They're not going super into details about all the little things that you should know about this show. You should have already come into this prepared as a light novel reader or an enjoyer of the Toto series. I fully appreciate it. My chat's helping me out, so we're doing good. The guy was an absolute fraud at the end of the day. His powers would only work if he had this, like, basically the whole cram school students chanting the Gregorian chant 3330 or whatever, right? And he had to, like, constantly just juice himself up with, like, these... I don't know, amphetamines or whatever drugs to make him happy so that he can delude himself into thinking that whatever he believes is true. It's a really strong power. But, my man, my man, Toma, this guy, bro, he's like, let me break that fucking... Like, bro, it's so good. Imagine, Brooker, he literally destroyed his perception. He saw, he saw a dragon. That's the imagery that he saw. I don't know how important the dragon will be moving forward. Maybe it was a random picture. Or is the dragon supposed to represent Imagine Breaker itself? Who knows? Let's begin today's reaction. Oh! It's happening. The true main character is showing up. Okay, it's happening. Okay, 10 episodes deep. Okay, this is some Kurumi shit, bro. This, this some, this some data like Kurumi shit, bro. Kurumi also took this so many episodes. I, I think it was like seven or something. But like, okay, he is finally here. He doesn't have a walking crutch right now. Okay, okay. There's a sniper on the roof. Misaka. But it's not Misaka. Misaka could rely on her railgun and not snipe. These are the Misaka clones that we saw in the opening. What was the theory by the openings? I was saying like, well, there's a little Misaka and there's a big Misaka. Then there's a bunch of Clone Wars Misaka. Maybe the little Misaka made a bunch of clones after herself. I don't know. Maybe the little Misaka is also a clone. I'm not sure. The only thing I do, I, I did a little bit of research of Index during my home. Uh, I didn't get to read the wiki too much. But I was kind of going over like just lore of Index in terms of like, what is Academy City and how do they rate individuals? I never realized how significant a level five was. Like there was even there's even an entire like side story of the author explaining the difference of the gap between level three and four. And then there's a five. And five of the like 2.8 million people, right? There's like 80 percent of people here are just kids, right? It's like two, it's easily almost like three mil, right? Some two point eight million, they're all kids here, right? Or something like that. And only there's like what a handful of people that is level 5. So, like, I didn't know exactly how OP level 5 really was until I read the wiki. And maybe since there's only so many few of them, there's levels, there's like 7 of them. Maybe they decided, to, and, and Misaka might be like the strongest level 5, who knows? Did they go on to like clone a bunch of them? Or like, it's supposed to be like the police force here? They all just cloned the strongest level 5? So the king! No, don't hit my goat! Leave him alone! That's right. In video games, you can just click and you can hit. Like, actually, some Battlefront games, I think they do a little bit more of like, oh, how much you have to shoot higher because it's going to drop, right? But yeah, you got to care for a lot of different things in real life. It's not just like click and it just hits. Accelerator! Accelerator! What the fuck just happened? I thought she's sniping. I thought she's sniping, but that was like a machine gun. It, but I shot... Why did she... It's the arm that got damaged, right? Does he have some sort of like ability where if he gets hit, the damage is immediately reflected back to you? Huh. Hey, what's going on? Smile. Yo, this guy, what the fuck? Did he even knew where she was gonna be? What, did they not do their homework in Accelerator? Did, like, did no one do their study of, like, he, this is Accelerator's powers. You can't just, like, shoot him. Maybe this is their first time going after him. And who's going after them? Is he a good person? He seems to be a bad person. Is she just, like, cop here? Like, Academy City cop? I don't know. Mikoto Misaka, sissy or Onesama. Yo, we're fucking 10 episodes deep. Are we still fucking around with remedial classes? 
Dude, imagine break the remedial class. This is bullshit. When are we gonna go around saving the world or something? Yai, yai, yai. That was gonna be forever stuck in detention. That's right. Memory loss completely. Feels bad. We're broke. 2,000 yen for a drink? Dude, what the fuck are you doing? You broke as hell. You should not be spending 2,000 yen for a drink like this. This is such a waste of money. What are you doing? Punch. Imagine break this vending machine. Oh, no. Okay, now we have a, we, now we actually have a reason to punch this shit. 2,000 yen bill. We broke as fuck. It takes our money. Fun fact, there's actually like a statistic, I think, for the United States and the amount of like lethalities for vending machines. It's like on average, like a year, maybe like two or five people die from like getting mad at a vending machine like this and say, Give me my money, and then it just falls on them and dies. This is a real thing. Wah, wah. Yo. She is such a bitch, bro. Oh, also, my, uh, in my, uh, Toru, um, lore study. So, based, basically, after learning how important the level 5 is, now I know why she is such a psycho bitch. Because of level 5, like, it's hard. Like, your brain, your sense of being, lore, lore-wise, they lose control of themselves almost. Like, in order to, like, reach that status, to have that kind of power, most level 5s are fucking insane. And in fact, it's said that she is the most, like, reasonable level 5. Isn't that crazy? Of all the different level 5s, she is the most sane one. So I'm like, what kind of maniacs are we going to meet later on, man? Middle school girl, that's right. Not even high school. Get out of here. Oh, we don't remember her now. She's going to be so mad. You know what? This time... Maybe it makes more sense. In episode 1, that made no sense why she got so fucking mad. But basically, I think it's just like, oh, look at my powers. And he kind of like negated the electricity thing. And this wasn't a rail gun. It's just sort of like, like electromagnetic powers, right? And she has this like obsession what she wanted to defeat this level 0. Like Kami Jotoma, like why? He's a level 0. Because he can do this, I guess. And now that if you forget her name, that is kind of disrespectful, I guess. Yo, you should shoot up the vending machine. No, vending... Electrocute it. Electrocute it. Yeah. Punch it hard. Electric zap. Okay. There it is. For whatever reason, in the openings as well, you never see her panties. Because she's always wearing shorts underneath. There it is. You just kick the shit out of it. You know what? No. He here it is. Do you know why this vending machine doesn't work? It's not that it's already broke. She fucking broke it. She's been kicking the shit out of this thing for many, many years. That's why this thing does not take money anymore. That's my headcanon. Random vending machine. Does she have siblings? All girls middle school. That makes more sense. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like, like she fucks up the vending machine. It's not a solution for a broken machine. She broke it. Oh, I got my money stolen because of you. Yeah. Can you get it back for me? Why are you so happy about this? You like to see us suffer. I don't know the significance of a 2,000 yen bill. Is it like a super rare deprecated bill where they're not printing that shit anymore? And it's pretty rare and like we wasted a 2,000 yen bill on this thing? <laughs> the animation's so smooth right now, what the fuck? Yo, what the hell was that? The whole like... Dude, Mis Misaka and Toma? The Dude, the animation here, it's just so smooth. They're like wriggling around. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> they kind of, they kind of have chemistry, kind of. There it is. So you never had to fucking kick it. True. Why is she running? Wait, are the cops coming? Is this supposed to be bad? That was actually Loki, really kind of her to give us like more than two thousand yens worth of drinks, but maybe it's a bait. I don't know. Robot cops. I don't know. This looks 
usually shit like this that just gets, you know, exposition in slice of life moments is probably really important, right? <laughs> Today's topics? The Mizu Institute, which was doing research on the pathology, okay? So important to note that a Mizu Institute exists. Intractable diseases such as muscular dystrophy. I don't... Muscular dystrophy. This has to relate to uh, Accelerator. Because Accelerator has a walking crutch later on based on the openings, right? Muscular dystrophy is basically just like your muscles just like breaking down and not being able to kind of sustain itself, right? He is always walking with a crutch. It has to relate to him. Announces it is discontinuing operations. That's why he has a crutch. Based on the openings, it looked like season one, he was fine. Season two, something bad happened. I thought Toma might have fucking punched him so hard that he needed a crutch forever. But he's always had muscular dystrophy. The Mizu Institute had these drugs that allowed you to kind of live normally. And now, no more. So, we on the cane now. Black soybean cider. Yeah. Thanks. Look at the passing, bro. That's a hot drink? I think that this is actually nice. You shot a railgun at me. What do you mean? I'm not You're fucking terrified. You're crazy. You're a psychopath that started shit when I try to like save you on the bridge. No, it's the guys I need a saving. Of course I'd be on the edge. Oh, she recognizes her strength. She's speaking a third person on the bridge. She took that seriously. Literally just said it. Only seven level fives in all of Academy City. Yeah, like that Onesama girl. The teleporting girl really loves her. Onesama. There it is! Onesama, Onesama! Gotcha. Dato with the boy! Secret boyfriend! Shirai, Kuroko. She teleports, right? If I want to date Misaka, I need to date you first. What are you saying? Please go through me. Are you acting as like a bodyguard to try to filter us out from Onesama? Or are you telling us to hit on you too? I don't understand. Alright! Could be. But the saddest thing is, you're talking shit about Toma, about how he couldn't even be your boyfriend. But I know your ass is going to get cucked by Index. The opening shows Index and Toma always hanging out, then you getting mad as the side triangle girl. Where'd she go? Teleport. That's such a powerful ability, man. She can just port around? There's got to be a limit to the teleport. OP. Oh. Clones. Dude, the eyes, the eyes are fucking terrifying, bro. These, these eyes, why did they make her? Because to make them not be human, right? These are fucking just creations, artificial misakas they made. They always have these goggles on too, I guess, to like snipe with. How many of you are there? A lot. Sure. She wants to bite a Toma too. Training? This probably isn't the same model that got hurt by Accelerator last night. This is kind of weird, huh? I mean, it's beyond weird. Imagine you're hanging out with a dude and suddenly your clone shows up. Like, how would you think that we're supposed to think about this? Is this a natural occurrence? Like, am I, is this another day in Academy City? This is an insane thing where it's just like, holy shit, my fucking clone showed up and is referring to herself as Misaka here. We gotta go somewhere else. Like, what the fuck? Now, it looks like she has a lot of, like, 
backstory, right? Did Misaka, based on that look, like her backstory, there's something definitely more than meets the eye going on. Again, my guess is that because she's such a formidable level five, Academy City Government, Executive Council, whoever the main decision makings are, basically cloned a bunch of Misakas because she's the most capable candidate to mass produce these clones that can be used to subjugate bad people, like perhaps Accelerator in the beginning of today's episode. Yeah, Misaka should just say it's my twin. Yeah, it's just a twin, sure, why not? There might be a triplet. We have so many drinks that we can give to Index. Ball. A tennis ball. Baseball. Well... <laughs> Don't jinx it! Don't jinx it! Unlucky motherfucker, bro. He, just, he is very unlucky, remember? I don't know if he's unlucky or lucky. He, I mean, he thinks he's unlucky. But he's also super lucky. It's weird with him. Like, the Imagine Break the Existence just cancels out everything that's holy and good from God. Therefore, you have all this unluck. But at the same time, him even having this power, all the different shit he's gone through, I think he's pretty lucky and unlucky. Ooh, dumbass. You exist. Accelerator? Nah, it's not. What's up, Misaka? Wanna help me? Maybe it's another clone. I see. The penny shots only happen if it's the clones. But the OG Misaka will always have the shorts on. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> hey, stop looking. With a sigh. It's so funny how, like, she talks in third person as if she knows what Misaka would say because she's been programmed. She, she basically just ha knows everything that Misaka would say. So she speaks in third, third person I'm like, yep, this is how she would say with a sigh. It's, it, it's a clone! So it's night. That's right. The uh, railgun. Yeah, there was like a very I interesting lore about like Misaka and her like tryouts to get level 5. Something about shooting a railgun into like a body of water because it was such a fucking stupid OP power that we need to like muffle the amount of impact. But even then, it just like blew everything out of the fucking water. And the precision. I remember them making like a very... Uh, important uh, emphasis on the precision of Misaka's railgun and that kind of like coincides with this clone using her goggles of like she doesn't have the eyesight to be able to do something so precise but Misaka does that's a different one probably back to my place you wanna come over? She's narrating herself. Bro, stop it. Bro, you're looking at Robot Coochie. Stop it. Index would be very disappointed in you. Alright, she's coming over? Interesting. She's coming over. I forget, this is the sibling of who? Was there a friend? I forget. Who is this girl? Why am I forgetting her right now? Have you ever met her? Blonde guy with the shades? Is that it? Did he ever show us? I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm comparing her to Anna Rosie and ReZero right now for some reason. It's like, it's like a... Not a lolly, but a tiny girl with blue hair. That's why I was like, do I know her? No, it's a debut. Okay, okay, it's a debut. I'm like, what the fuck? The blonde guy. Stepsister. I don't know. I don't know how blonde guy rolls, but stepsister. Also, he puts her in a maid outfit? Hmm. Maika. She goes to maid school? Wait, 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 wait. This is, this is, there's a maid school? This is cool. In Academy City, where you train espers, there's a maid school? You're only for maids? What? It's pretty hardcore. 
品は福引き大作戦タイナちゃんと実費だぞちょっとバックリンなら一本やるじゃあこれで Alright かくまうこつその一。位都会なら平時は外をブラブラさせて OK What the fuck kind of advice are you giving me right now? Index Little sister is very funny. I love how she's just, you know, hanging around, just like riding this fucking robot Roomba, bro. He's, he's very cute and funny. No, no, no. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yo, robot Misaka is scary. She's just taking everything at face value. Oh, our two lollies. What's going on, shrine maiden and church girl? Yeah, kind of. What? Cross. That seemed pretty important. Th this seemed very important that he zoomed in at a new cross fucking necklace. Okay, I don't remember that last time. Okay, this is very, very important. Now she may be converted to a member of the church. She's like, is she fucking talking about fucking visual novel routes right now? That was kind of flags. Other routes. 100% visual novel route? I don't know. It's a cat. With your hands? Ew. Takes things to the fucking vet. What are you doing? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. He got bed bugs, probably. Anti itch. What? Like, are you gonna hold the cat? Then you're gonna light the fucking herbs? And then the cat's gonna get the smoke? And the herb smoke will. Also! Robot Misaka's making a face! You see this shit? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Seriously, seriously, seriously. She has not made. She's not reacted yet. She's a blank face. She's a blank face the entire time. She looks at a cat, I think. I don't think she's looking at an index or the lollies, right? She's just looking at the cat, right? What the hell? Has she ever made a face like that? I don't think she has, right? She's just empty, empty, empty. And for the first time, she sees the cat move and she fucking loves it. Yeah, and she's following the cat. Look at it, the eyes are following the cat tail. Even robots can deeply inside be reached out through a cat, I guess. Oh. It just keeps moving back and forth. A lighter. Spray with the lighter. What's up, Misaka? Yeah. Can you do it? Oh, she does have lightning powers. So, her. Oh, that's. Damn. These are all getting fucked up because of the blood. So, I thought that these Misakas have like no electromagnetic powers or something. It's just that. So, but they can't use rail. I don't know. Maybe they can. Maybe their guns is a different type of rail gun. But again, it's the goggles, right? It's the goggles and like the precision that's the issue. Zap. It's pretty effective. Good job, Misaka. Wait, Toma Index have turned into cats. You see that? They're both cats right now. And then Toma snaps out of it. Thank you. Very helpful. Bye. She's a nice girl. But like, it's because we're on our good side and she's not hostile towards us. I'm sure she can easily just flip the switch if we were deemed to be enemies. What is an enemy to her? I'm not sure. But for now, it's looking like she's a pretty chill girl when she's on our side and looking at cats. Lore, ESP, America, ABS Resin, of course. Sensei! Yo, where's Sensei staying? Where is Sensei staying, bro? Does she have a new apartment? I hope she was. No. Remedial class. I feel bad for Sensei, bro. This loser shows up, don't even fucking study. Long guy, here it is. What could grow won't grow either. What could grow from learning this shit? 
Toma just needs to understand how to use this Imagine Breaker in a better way, right? Try to really understand the limits of his powers. But like, no matter how we study this shit, can we activate any ESP power? I don't think we can. I think we're fundamentally different. Misaka, rank third in Academy City. And she was originally level one, so you can escalate levels. This is not like a final assigning thing. No, it's like an annual event, right? There's like this like rank assign test that happens. I'm not sure how often it happens, but you can rise the ranks like that. Toma though, well, it's like, what exactly do they test? I remember, I know that Nisaka got rated five after that whole like, you know, railgun into the pool of water and the precision and the magnitude of the power for sure. But like, if Toma was shown to be able to cancel the railgun, wouldn't the city like recognize Toma to be on that level? Yeah, Misaka's rank third. Seven people and rank third. Real Misaka? I can't tell unless we look at her panties. Probably is. Yo. What's going on? Oh. What's going on? Why is there a big ship? Today's topic. Three research centers whose works. Cent okay, we're still talking muscular dystrophy. I sure do hate those airships, you know. I feel like this is so important because this is Loki just telling us what's happening with Accelerator and potentially his walking cane, right? <laughs> Announced their closures in rapid succession during the last two weeks. Why are they closing, though? Why does Misaka hate? <laughs> Machine sets the policy and humans. Oh! Do they listen? Is their ultimate decision maker like an AI? The machine sets the policy and humans follow it. It's looking like there's this greater hive mind machine. And weren't we talking about with Sir Alistair, the director general Alistair? Wasn't he talking something about like, what's the need for a human if a machine can do something? I forget, but this city seems to be ruled at the very top by this machine god that knows what's optimal and best for everybody. And humans just blindly follow it. I don't know if it's blind, but this is very interesting. Oh, what is it? Three, Three diagram. diagram. Greatest supercomputer. Terminator ship, bro. And we shot Orihime down. Orihime was the vessel for the supercomputer. Now what? What? There's, there's gotta be backup. There, there's no way that it's just dumb, but that's crazy. <laughs> I see now the significance of. Shooting down Orihime 1. That's crazy. Ooh. Only climate data? Damn, these motherfuckers sent an AI supercomputer into space. And they're like, yep, we're just going to be tracking, you know, climate data. Psych. Um, I'm now going to uh, basically rule over mankind, at least in Academy City. And you're going to listen to what I do. Huh? Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> crazy bitch. <laughs> She's crazy. She's insane. She just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> just waxing a little poetic. Bye. Crazy bitch. Alright. I'm not following. I don't want to follow. I want to hang out with the Index instead. Yo, where's the accelerator at? Oh, it's other Misaka. The kind ones. Mikoto. Goggles, yeah? And if he has the panties. Yeah, it's it's like basically goggles and the life in her eyes. If she's not looking at a cat, there's like no life in her eyes. It's just blank and the panties. That's how you tell. And she's feeding a cat right now, I think. It could be a different one, though. Alright, alright. Oh, more cats. Why? What's your defect? Talking to the third person? Oh, the animals are hurt by that waves? Is that what that is? Is that what the cat's like struggling? Magnetic field is constantly emitted. That's sad. She can never be close to animals. Go to the vet. Wait, wait, wait. Is, is the radio magnetic waves what's causing the cat to tremble? Or the cat already fucked up and Misaka doesn't want to fuck around anymore? 
Yeah. Maybe a little bit of both. Health department to take him in. Okay. Wait, not good. Did they just put them down? What is it? <laughs> That's so fucking troll. That's crazy. Even calling a dog dog or a cat cat, that naming is troll enough. But you swapped it? Yeah, very. <laughs> oh, look at her face. It's so fucking good. Because she has no life in her face. Never. But when it's the topic of cats, then she kind of like. The life comes out, you know? <laughs> that laugh, man. <laughs> uh, that's a historical figure, right? Schrodinger's cat. Does the cat exist or not? I see the word neat over here. Neat now. I know, I know. We're treating things well. We'll treat this cat well too. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I think she appreciates that though. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Leave the cat alone. Leave the cat alone, Accelerator. What are you doing? Why are you here? And I wonder if this is the same Misaka clone that like um fought Accelerator in the intro of today's episode. Because she had a huge injury on the arm, I think. But who knows? The aura. The menace, bro. Toma. Toma, bro, go! What is this soundtrack? It's so menacing. Oh shit, they're fighting. But we don't know how they're fighting. Is that him? It's gotta be him, right? I thought, th I don't know what he was. He's a student, he's a little five, maybe he's like a magic user, I don't fucking know, but okay. It's looking like he is maybe rank one. <laughs> You? I don't know you? Is he doing this for like ego? And that's today's episode of Index and this is probably one of the most hype episodes. Well, I think last episode was stupid hype. The last episode popping off right in the end of the vampire shit. That was really hype. But now that like Accelerator is showing up, you know, it's getting me just going. Now, why is he attacking Misaka? I have no clue. Well, you know, Misaka clones were already, you know, trying to get Accelerator from the beginning, so maybe we shouldn't really blame him, but it seems like he's very confident in himself. He is the strongest, maybe in Academy City, and then in terms of the level fives, he didn't confirm it, but if he's one of the seven, I could definitely believe that he is rank one, while Misaka is third, which begs the question, who could be number two? <laughs> Crazy theory? The blonde guy with the shades. No, I can't be him. Today's episode, we got to know more about Misaka. Not really, right? We know Misaka is a level 5. We know she's absurdly strong. She has shorts that she wears, but then there's these clones that also exist. And who knows how many exactly there are? I bet there's way more than just one. And the clones exhibit this robotic aura. They're not real people, right? They just kind of just soulless, you know, vessels, copies of Misaka probably. But whenever they see a cat, it seems like Misaka probably loves cats and therefore the clones themselves, it, like the robotic subconscious goes away and the real kind of parts of her comes to life because of the cats, I think. Accelerator, man. I don't know how his powers work, but based on that intro scene where Misaka shot him multiple rounds, what happened? It looked like the bullets just backfired. Did it reflect? Did it- is it a thing where you, if he takes damage, you can just like, you take the damage instead kind of things? I'm not sure, but it's only gonna get better from here on out. That's it from me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.